Lady! Reyna. Claude! I was pretty worried about you. I figured you'd pull through in the end, but still. I believed in you, yes, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't anxious at all. What about you guys? Are you all right? We all washed ashore together. You were the only one missing out of the group. Huh? Wow! Anyway, don't you think that's enough of a hug there already? I don't think I can go on without you, Claude. Reyna, I... Hey, uh, guys, try to remember that we're here too, okay? So you made your way here after running into Leon? Huh. What is it, Leon? Mom and Dad aren't here? Huh? Why are all of your friends here but not my mom and dad? Uh... They're gone, aren't they? Leon, you can't give up on them so soon. How do you know that? Uh... Your mother and father are fine. I'm positive. I just remembered. They told us we had to visit the chief of the settlement once we were all together. Oh? Did he want to ask us something? Probably. We haven't really explained who we are to them yet. All right. We could probably ask him about your parents, Leon. Okay. The group I've heard so much about. Yes, we've found our missing companion, sir. Thanks for the support you've given everyone in my absence. Are you sure you're all right, though? We can always talk later if you're tired. Wait a minute. Are you from the core? Y yes we are. I knew it! You're here to rescue us, right? Where's your ship? Well... Think about it. If they had something like that, why would they be here of all places? I'm sorry. What do you mean? He means that Lacour has also fallen to the monsters. Right? Yes, I'm afraid so. No! It was inevitable. They're just too strong for us. Ever since the Sorcery Globe hit us, their strength has grown to unimaginable levels. I'd like to ask one question if I could. 
What's that? What's the area around the Sorcery Globe impact zone like right now? Well, at first it was just a hole in the ground. Before long, however, monsters started appearing around the edge of it. After that, people started talking about how the globe itself was somehow giving birth to all of these hordes. Giving birth? The sorcery globe crashed in Luria and created a giant crater, leveling the surrounding area. Over half of the town was destroyed, just like that. But the people who died from the impact probably had it better than the survivors. Before long, the whole place was a monster nest. They were marauding the streets and breaking into people's homes. It was a nightmare. A monster nest? Within hours, the monsters took control of Iloria and made it their base of operations. The town's a total loss. That's horrible! Why? It's all because of that damn sorcery globe. None of this would have happened if that thing hadn't shown up. So the monsters are based in Aluria? Hmm? Yes, but what are you thinking about? Doing what we came here to do, of course. I'm not gonna just sit here and watch. I don't give up that easily. Do you understand what you just said? Of course. We're going into Aluria and we're going to root this evil out at the source. And if it turns out to be the sorcery globe, then we'll destroy it. You're insane! How could you possibly do that? I don't think we have a choice. If we have any hope left, that's where it is. Chief! Besides, that's what we kept the weapons for, isn't it? No matter how dim the hope might be, I think it's worth placing our bets on. I want to help you guys any way I can. We have a small supply of equipment in the armory next door. You can take with you whatever you might need. Thank you. Can I ask another question? Go ahead. Was there anyone else besides myself getting washed ashore nearby? No, not yet. Uh. This might be too much to ask, but could you look after this boy in the meantime? This child was separated from his parents in the chaos. They might be brought to this settlement sometime soon. I think it'd be better if he waited for them here. He's too stressed out to go with us. Well, it's fine by us, but are you sure that's what you want? It'll be better for you here, Leon. Dude! Don't worry. We won't be out long anyway. Besides, we need someone to hold down the fort while we're gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. Certainly. We'll be happy to take care of him. Come back soon. Yeah.
Oh, yeah, something I wanted to ask you. I found this on my way out of Illuria. What do you reckon it is? Hmm. I'd like to know, too. It's an ID card. From a pretty advanced civilization, too, I'd say. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, uh, I don't need it for nothing. Here, you take it. What could we possibly use this for? All readings normal, Admiral. Admiral, ETH destination is 8 hours, 27 minutes. Admiral, are you listening? Admiral, you've got to get yourself together. I know this is hard on you, but you have a duty to carry out here. We're on a mission, sir. We've been sent to investigate the energy activity in the Arcora system in Sector Theta. The high energy mass with the orbital period of 7,527 years and all that, yes, I know. That's correct. I'm glad to know you're still with us, sir. What? We're picking up an unidentified distress signal coming from Planet 4 of the Arcora system. What do we know about the planet? Class M, population 1 billion. There have been some irregularities in its orbit lately, possibly due to activity from the high energy mass. Isn't the Arcora system still unexplored space? That should be the case, sir. There haven't been any reports of Vexpedition craft landing on the planet. Distress call captured. Putting it up on main screen. This is a Federation signal. ID number 00298. You're kidding me. Claude! Your orders, Admiral. Maximum warp. Get this ship to Planet 4 and the Arcura system now. Yes, yes sir.
This is Aluria? Dang, the town's just gone. What about this building? Claude? The pendant, it's lighting up again. You think it's responding to the sorcery globe? Let's keep moving. We can't afford to waste any more time. ID confirmed. Releasing door lock.
we can handle this.
There's no way around Be it. Be careful. That was that easier was than I thought. Weak.
Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Strange. Claude, I think it's coming from your pocket. Huh? Ah, there's, there's nothing in my pocket. You, you gotta be hearing things. It's working finally, but why now? What's wrong, Claude? Ah, I, uh... Oh, listen, Reyna, do you mind if I take a look around this floor for a bit? There's something about it that's bothering me. Um, sure, if you want to, Claude. Just remember, we don't have much time. What is this place? Reyna, what is that? Is your pendant lighting up? Huh? No, no, I don't think it's lighting up now. Do, now? Do you read? Please respond. My communicator. Ensign Kenny, service number 00298. This is the Calness. Coordinates. 33126. Claude? Whoa, 10, what? 9. Whoa, 10, what? 8. Wait, no, 7, no, I, I can't leave like this! Claude! Stay away! You're gonna get caught in it! One, what are you talking two, about, two. Claude? Claude! What is it? What's going on? I swear. I swear I'll come right back. Come back? Where are you going? for you right here. Dad! Kurtzman! Claude! Why did you transport me here without any warning? What if there was someone standing next to me? You're right. I'm sorry. Calm down, Claude. The Admiral just wanted to get you out of there as quickly as possible. It's nothing to get angry about. I know that, sir, but still. We were just worried about you, you know, disappearing on us like that. I'm just glad you're still in one piece. Are you hurt at all? No, sir. I'm all right. Good. You should get a checkup later on just to make sure everything's okay internally. You never know what kinds of viruses they might have down there. Wait a minute. There's something I need to do. You can tell me about it later. I need you over in the bridge now. Dad, wait! I can't be here right now. Please, you need to send me back down to Expel. Expel? The planet I was just on! Are you kidding me? That's an underdeveloped planet down there. I don't care! My friends down there are in trouble, and I need to get back to them right now! Get a grip on yourself, Claude. You do remember what you learned in officer school. Under no circumstances are you allowed to interact or interfere with an underdeveloped planet. Please, Dad! Ensign Kenny, you are to report to the bridge. That is an order. Dad! Let's go, Claude. You're a very lucky man, Claude. When we picked up your distress signal in the Arcura system, we were shocked. The Arcura system? There's a high energy mass that passes through the Arcura system once every 7,000 years or so. We were sent here to observe the mass, get some readings on it, and so forth. A high energy mass? Is that something similar to the sorcery globe?
Admiral, Planet 4 has gone off its orbital path. It's starting to move towards the energy mass. At their current trajectory, they'll collide within 80 minutes. What?
What's going on? Settle down, Claude. You're a Federation officer. Can't let your emotions take over. Take a look at the display, Admiral. It's just a matter of time before their paths cross. The energy mass, Class 9, enough to vaporize Planet 4 without leaving even a bit of space dust. No! Why is this happening? Claude. This isn't the Sorcery Globe messing with things again, is it? Dad, I've got to get back to Expel as soon as possible. I need to help my friends. Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Planet 4 will be history soon. 75 minutes to collision. I'm sorry, Claude, but I can't let you go back there. Well, could there be some way we can push Expel back to its original orbit? There's nothing we can do. Let it go, Claude. Claude. Then let me say goodbye to everyone. I've been fighting by their side this whole time. It's the least that I can do for them. You understand me, don't you, Dad? Didn't you tell me about the friends you had? The friends you fought with back in the day? All right. That's what you've decided? Dad! Admiral! Trajectory updated. 70 minutes remaining until collision. That's more than enough time. We'll be bringing you back in five minutes. Make sure you're fully separated from everyone by then. Got it. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. I have? But let's talk later. I'm sending you down. Dad, thanks. This is where I need to be. Claude! Reyna, it's been two hours. Do you really think we should keep waiting? Claude? I didn't think you were coming back. Sorry I made you guys worry. Why did you go off by yourself like that? Why don't you ever pay attention to other people's feelings? I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. Ugh! Forget it! We need to get out of here. Huh? I don't have time to explain. We have to get off this floor as soon as possible. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm ready. Claude, isn't that your... Yep, my communicator. I don't need it anymore. Reyna? Welcome back, Claude. Thanks, Reyna. That's five minutes. All right, get him back up here. What the hell? Admiral, there's nobody at the target transport point. What? What happened to him? The only explanation is that he removed his communicator, sir. Oh, no. Get a security team down there immediately. I want him taken back here. Use force if necessary. But, sir, we only have 60 minutes before collision. Then use whatever time's left to find him. There's plenty of time before the collision. Please, Admiral, you need to calm down. Yes, we still have 60 minutes until the collision, 
But the energy mass's gravitational pull is going to destroy the planet long before that point. I can't even begin to imagine the level of cosmic radiation that mass is bombarding the planet with right now. Are you willing to put the security team's lives in danger for your personal reasons, sir? I apologize. I shouldn't have lost my cool there. lucky bunch of fools, aren't you? I didn't think anyone would survive falling off the ship. You've killed thousands, and now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you go any further. This tower is going to be your grave.
is that? Wait a second. Claude, that must be the sorcery globe. Don't move. Stay where you are. Why does this little girl have possession of the quadratic key? The only key in existence is the one whose core we created and crystallized. Who are you people anyway? Look out! I told you to stay where you are. We know you can understand us. Claude, stay with me. That healing power! Are you a Nidian? Median? What are you talking about? Who are you? My, my, how uncivilized. You people are just as underdeveloped as this planet. Flying into a rage at the drop of a hat? No. From what I can tell, this boy is not an Expellion at all. I would say, he is probably from Earth. Forgive my rudeness, but what is an Earthling doing so far out on the edge of the universe? I couldn't venture a guess. Well, the Earthling is not alone. There's a Tetrageniot among them. What the heck are you guys talking about? An Earthling? The universe? Claude? Hmm. No, I doubt you would understand any of this. Allow me to explain. That boy next to you is not from Expel at all. He is a native of another planet. Planet? Yes. The stars up above, those celestial bodies you thought were mere points of light, are home to a wondrous variety of living creatures. Earth and Expel are just two such planets. But that matters not. For we are from need, just as you are. destroyed Illuria? I see no reason to tell you of our plans. What? Besides, you're too late. This planet's already on a collision course with Need. Even if we told you everything, you couldn't do a thing to stop us at this point. What are you doing this for? Are you trying to destroy the whole planet? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> you inferior beings with your shallow, trivial thoughts. What could destroying a single frontier planet accomplish? This is merely a single step in the road taking us back to need. 
It is all part of the roadmap that will bring us back our powers and restore us as rulers of the galaxy. You're taking over the galaxy? Yes. Not that I expect mere insects such as yourselves to comprehend. The time is near. In a matter of minutes, this planet will collide with need. Why? Why did you choose this planet out of all the billions that are out there? This planet was located closest to Need's orbital path. No other reason. Our tool is the Quadratic Sphere, the thing in your world you call the Sorcery Globe. That was what was used to shift the planet's plane of orbit. And that is what will make this planet collide with Need. We had no idea that there was also a quadratic key housed on this planet. Our plans have been accelerated a hundred years thanks to this stroke of luck. What's this quadratic key you're talking about? A crystallized symbological stone. Um, you called it an energy stone. It's hanging off your neck right now. reasonable for a Needian such as yourself to have one of those. Only the Needians have the knowledge required to construct a quadratic key. Enough of this! You'll all be dead in a second! Not if I can help it. I'm going to take out all of you and stop this madness before it gets any worse. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but even if you could beat us, Expel's fate is already set in stone. I don't know that till I try. So you really are that stupid. Hey you, go deal with him for me. You appear to have a death wish, boy. I suppose we can at least grant him the kindness of a quick and relatively painless death. Let me take care of this. I can handle this by myself. I am Metatron of the Ten Wise Men, and fighting me will be the greatest achievement you'll ever have. Don't let your guard down! Playtime is over. You see, we're now within teleport range of Planet Need, and so I must bid you fools farewell.
Onyx. I turned my back on a billion people and my own son. But this collision is the result of natural causes, as unusual as they may be. I know your own child's involved in this, but I'm afraid there's just nothing to be done about it. This was an unexplored region of space, Admiral. There's no point having regrets about it now. Kurtzman. Claude went down there of his own volition. That's what he wanted from the moment we transported him back here. We all know there was nothing we could do to save the billions of people down there. This planet was doomed to extinction from the start. Damn it! Why does science have to be so useless? Everything is well. We have returned to need. But those little pests have joined us for the ride. We could not have prevented it. They were right there with us. It was our fault for not being able to kill them. Well? You want them dead? It looks like they've landed somewhere far away. Leave them. They're helpless at this point. That much is true. Their days are certainly numbered either way. But that Nadian girl bothers me. What was she doing on that planet? I don't know. There was supposed to be no escape route from need. Uh, not in its current state. She's just a girl. A single girl could hardly be called a problem for us. So, everything according to plan, then. Indeed. But we cannot afford to rest easy. Things have yet to even begin. Yes. Where am I? Is this heaven? Raina, you all right? Oh. Claude. Where are we? I haven't seen anything like this before. I... I don't know. Oh, man. Don't tell me this is heaven or something. No. It's not heaven at all. We're on the planet Need, in a place called the Outer Gardens. This is need? Oh, no! Reyna! Hey, what's wrong? I'm fine. This way. Reyna, what's going on here? I don't know. All I know is we should be going this way. Maybe that's because you're one of those Needians or whatever. I can't really tell, but there's something about the air. It makes me feel so calm. I feel like all my worries just fly away. Like I've known this place ever since I was young. 
that's why I think we're on need right now. I seem to remember them saying you were from another planet too, Claude. I... Uh, there was an accident, and somehow I got transported from where I was to expel. And then I ran into Reyna in the sacred forest, and it all went from there. Oh. Well, who cares? I don't think where you were born has much to do with who you are right now. Yeah, thanks. We aren't going to get anything done if we just sit around here. So let's take a look around. How do you think everyone's doing an expel, by the way? Not too well. No doubt about that. Nothing could have survived that collision. Don't worry. I'm sure they're doing just fine. Bet they can't wait for us to get back home, too. Reyna. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's right. That's why we've got to get moving and figure out what's going on around here. Right. What's that? It looks like some kind of device. Please, come inside. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Just go on inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. A transporter. Wonder where it goes to. Let's try it. Reyna? It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. All right. Guess I'm taking him up on the offer then. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Here goes. this I don't know well might as well get out I have been waiting for you was your voice before? It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centropolis? We... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? Well, that's a stupid question. We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we called the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. N meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? The Need of today isn't a planet at all. 
What we stand on today is better known as energy need, an artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. Three point seven billion years ago, planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The ten fanatical madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of Need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The needy and armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Nidian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to energy need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The Ten Wise Men escaped from their banishment into Eternity Space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of Eternity Space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... Those were the Ten Wise Men. Yes. They are led by the all-powerful Gabriel, with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight Wise Men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. 
Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did. But the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy, and they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had, the power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So you want us to help you for a while? That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. Well, I guess we've only got one choice. Sounds good then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as Synards. Synards? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City, then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I wonder what Rain is talking about in there. We probably shouldn't be thinking about it. Pfft. Well, sorry to offend you. Rain is about to face up to herself for the first time in her life. This isn't something we can really help her out with. Claude. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. It wasn't any big deal. Except to Claude, I guess. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm all right. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. Our first stop's going to be North City, right? That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think.
Well, here we go. Can I have a moment with you? What's up, Reyna?
Well, I already told you about how I was found in the sacred forest as a child, right? Right. I guess it turns out I was born on this planet after all. I'm different from everybody else. My home planet, the powers I have, they are all just like the Ten Wise Men. If it weren't for me, the Sorcery Globe and the Ten Wise Men, none of this would have happened. That's not true, Reyna. None of this is your fault. Listen, Claude. Who am I, really? I don't know anything about myself anymore. You're one of us, Reyna, all right? You can still see me that way? Even after knowing the truth about me? I was born on a different planet from all of you. I'm a... a space alien. Don't be silly. If you're gonna go there, then don't forget that I was born on another planet, too. There's no problem with a couple of space aliens getting along with each other, is there? You... you really think so? Thank you, Claude. I really feel a lot better now. That's good. I'm glad. Talk to you later, Claude. Man, that must have sounded really corny.
We can handle this. We can handle this. We can handle this. We can handle this. We can handle this.
They saw me! Who was that woman?
Something new.
There's just no fooling these guys. Uh, ow! Oh! She isn't stalking us, is she? No, she couldn't be.
Excuse me, Mayor Nall told us we could obtain a signard here? Oh, are you Mr. Claude C. Kenny? He's already contacted us about you. You can head over to the director's office if you like. Ah, good to meet you. The mayor told me all about you. My name is Artis. I'm the director of this facility. Uh, this man will be handling the Synard creation process for you. What do you mean by creation? A Synard is a living creature, yes. But we have to program it with data about its new master before it'll follow directions and orders. Wow. That sounds kind of cruel, actually. Well, the Synards we raise are genetically modified from the moment they are conceived, so really it's just another part of the process. Ugh. Let's not waste any time. He'll lead you through the data entry process, so let him know if you have any questions. Thank you. This way, please. We'll begin the data recording in just a moment. I'll call you into the data entry room when we're ready. All right. Hey, you sure this is gonna work? We've never worked with non-Nedians before. Who knows? We don't have a choice. Orders from above. Man, I wish I could get a promotion. Man, these guys are actually tame? They look pretty darn creepy to me, that's all I'll say. Claude, do you think there's any way we can tell people on Expel that we're on energy need? Huh? She has a point. From Expel's point of view, we've vanished off the face of the planet. Look, about Expel. What is it, Claude? Never mind. Well, we're all set. Right this way, please. All right, we'll begin with Claude's personal data. Please proceed inside. It's completely painless, I promise. Now stay perfectly still until I say it's okay to move. We'll be done in just a moment. All right, you're free to go. Oh, already? Next up would be Reyna. This way, please. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now just relax. All done. I'm glad there's at least one data subject I don't have to worry much about. What? Anyway, next up. What, what was that? We've lost control of the Synard we're working on. What? It's going to destroy this place if we don't do something. Claude. Let's go. Whoa, there it is. I guess we've got no choice. We got enemies. There's no way around it, I guess.
Well, I never thought this would happen. No offense, sir, but what did you expect? We were inputting data from an alien species into the Synard. Of course this was gonna happen. Now wait just a minute. We lost one of our valuable Synards thanks to you. So now what? Listen, we weren't... An apology is not going to make up for this. Director, I'm going to need a boost in my research funding to make up for this. What a terrible thing to happen. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's not your fault. It was the Synard who wouldn't accept your data. But it didn't have to die for it. Well, it's obvious by this point that inputting your data into a Synard isn't going to work. So what will we do now, then? Well, there is one thing we could try. What's that? We better not discuss it here. Let's go back to my office. Nuts. If only I were a little earlier. I could have had my front page exclusive. Enraged Synard Levels Breeding Facility. Ow! Thank you. I don't really want too many people to hear this. Not that it matters much to them. I'm not sure what you're getting at, sir. Don't worry about it. Just go over into that transporter over there for me, all right? It's unlocked. You. Yes, sir. What was that about? You'll have the rest explained to you on the other side. Hopefully, the mayor won't have any complaints. Are we getting involved in something under the table here? Hey, you're here to save the universe, aren't you? We all have to make some sacrifices along the way. What do you mean? Look, do you want a Synard or not? Just get going. Uh, all right. Could I ask you one question, though? What? Whose data was it that caused the Synard to go berserk? I don't see the point of answering that question. Fair enough. Now where are we? My home. Oh, uh, um. Well, I would introduce myself, but that would be a strange way to start things off, given the circumstances. I'm really sorry. We were transported here from Artis's office. Artis? Yes. Null sent us there to get a sign art. It didn't work out too well, though. I see. So you're the outsiders that were transported to Energy Need. You knew about us? Yes. Only a certain few know, mind you. It's the same level of classification as the return of the Ten Wise Men. I apologize for coming here so suddenly, but we simply have to have a Synard. Is that why you came here? Yep. The Synard we had in North City went berserk on us during the data entry phase. Ah, that figures. You wouldn't be here otherwise. 
So, you know what you're supposed to do for us? What? Didn't Artis even tell you where he was sending all of you? Well, where are we? You're in the Endangered Species Protection Zone. I'm Noel Chandler, Director and Resident Zoologist. So you're here for a wild sign art, then? Wild? Sign arts were originally wild animals. The sign arts in North City have been genetically re-engineered for the Nidian's purposes. There are wild ones, too? Near extinction, but yes. In fact, the last one's in the critically endangered protection zone. You'll be meeting that sign art in just a moment. I imagine you'll be fighting soon afterward. Why? It's perfectly natural sign art behavior. Once a sign art realizes its opponent is stronger in might and will than itself, it will defend its new master with his life if needed. So we just have to fight the wild sign art and beat it? You make it sound so easy. It's not just a matter of physical strength. If your heart isn't in it, then it's simply not going to happen. Do you think you have what it takes? Um, Noel? How about we pay the sign art a visit then? But this is the last wild sign art in existence! If it dies, it dies. It's the fate of the species. It's as simple as that. Survival is a battle, and only the strong survive. Isn't that how it works? Now let's get going. We'll be traveling due south of here. <laughs>